Now, I have never given this lecture before. It's very short. In fact, over the past two weeks, I've been putting this thing together. So bear with me. But I thought this might be an interesting topic, especially to this crowd, because you're probably seeing a lot of cataract surgeries, and there's a lot of little steps. And so I thought what we'd do is go through each of the little steps that we do, and this might make it a little bit easier. So what I did was created a cartoon version of an entire cataract surgery. So we'll show that. It's about four minutes long, and I'll be narrating the whole time. And then I'm going to show the same exact surgery, the same orientation, everything else with, with a live surgery. And you can kind of compare, and it'll make more sense, and I'll explain things. So the first step when doing cataract surgery is you need to make an entrance wound into the eye. And so we create a paracentesis. I was using a little knife. I made... I was burping that uh, blood out of the eye. This is the same idea, except we're doing it in a more controlled situation. But basically, a small incision into the anterior chamber. When we say anterior chamber, that's just that potential space full of fluid right under the cornea. And you want to numb the eye up. We use surface lidocaine, but we also inject lidocaine intracamerally, which just means inside the eye, through that little incision to numb the eye up, especially the iris. The iris, the colored part of the eye, is very sensitive. It's a muscle. It can hurt. This is a gel we put in the eye. It's called a viscoelastic. And this gel maintains the shape of the eye. You don't want to make a big incision, your next step, and have the eye deflate on you. But the gel also protects the inner surface of the cornea as well. We now use our keratome to make our main incision. And this is a much bigger blade. It makes about a 2.8 millimeter incision through the cornea. And that's where we're going to do all our work, through this little incision. Now, the first step is we need to make a hole in the front of our hard candy shell, in front of that capsule. So we do something called a capsulorexis which means, means ripping of the capsule. And I like to start it with a cystotome needle to get my circle started. And then I use Utrata forceps to basically grab and create that circle in the front of that hard candy shell. That way we can get to the chocolate and the peanut layers of the cataract. This is called hydrodissection. I'm basically blowing uh, salt solution in between the hard candy shell and the chocolate layer to kind of separate things out. Because I want to be able to get the inner part of this cataract out easily. And so I spin it to make sure it's nice and separated from the hard candy shell, from the capsule. And now the thing is ready to come out. And we use our fake emulsification, vibrates very high frequency. There's many ways to get the inner part of this cataract out. This is called a divide and conquer technique, where I create two big pieces. I break the peanut into two pieces, spin it, and turn it into four pieces. And that way I can take each pie slice out one at a time, so to speak. There's many ways to do this. I'm going to show you a different way in a second. And then we basically remove each of these pieces of that peanut of that nucleus out, the nucleus removal, and one at a time. And this looks very easy here, but this is actually difficult because it doesn't look quite as nice as far as the anatomy. And I'll show you what I mean. So we remove all that, and you can still see some debris in there. What is that? That's leftover cortex, that chocolate still stuck to the inner surface of the hard candy shell. And so we use irrigation aspiration to remove that chocolate because you want it to be a nice bag or a nice capsular bag in there, a pocket somewhere you can put the new lens implant. So we inflate that pocket up with some more viscoelastic. That way it has a nice place, nice and open, so it'll be easier to slip this lens implant in. And we inject the implant. It comes folded, gets pushed into that little pocket, and slowly unfolds into place. I use my instrument to make sure that tail end goes into the right place. It unfolds inside the eye, and that's how you do it. Now, we're not quite done yet. We still have a lot of jello in the eye, a lot of gel, that viscoelastic. So we like to remove all that. And as we're removing it, you can see the little implant's kind of moving a little bit because there's some gel stuck up underneath there. It's coming out. And we clear that out. And the implants in the bag, so to speak, are in the hard candy shell. And then we hydrate our wounds. So you could always put sutures in, but it's easier just to use some uh, BSS solution, inject it into those incisions. It'll swell the tissue up and keep it from leaking and we're done. So that's how we do the cartoon cataract surgery. Let's watch a live surgery. I'm going to repeat all these steps. We'll do it again. So we're going to do our paracentesis. We're going to make our initial incision into the eye with that little knife, just like we did before. That way we can inject all of our stuff. Then we're going to inject lidocaine into the eye to numb up the iris, because the iris is a muscle in the eye. It's very sensitive. And this happen to have some air bubbles in there. We'll get those out, but it will make it easier to see our next step. We're going to inject some viscoelastic. That viscoelastic protects the inner surface of the cornea from the instruments, makes sure the eye doesn't deflate when we make our big incision. And as we fill it up there, you can kind of see it pushing the air bubble out, um, and it fills up the eye. Of course, it's clear, hard to see, but there it is. Now we'll make our main keratome incision. This is our main incision. We kind of angle it so it's three planar, so it's a watertight wound. The reality is we just stick it in. Um, 
Here is our cystotome. It's like a little needle, and that's where we make our little rip in the front of that hard candy shell in front of the capsule with our capsular rexus. And I like to make a little sideways, and then I pull it back towards me just to get things started. And then we'll get rid of that cystotome, and we use the forceps. And the forceps is really where the main work is done. This is our utrata forceps, just very small forceps, and we grab the surface of that. It's very thin. It looks like a piece of cellophane or saran wrap. And you have to be careful. I'm taking my time here because it wants to run out to the edges. And if it runs around the back of the eye, you're kind of hosed because you don't have a pocket. It's going to be very hard to put a lens in there. And so we take that very delicate tissue and we make a complete circle with it. And this is the time when all the autoclaves have a tendency to go off and all the rooms start opening and closing right in this crucial aspect. Because if this goes bad, then it makes the rest of the surgery difficult. Now, we've created our capsular rexus. Now we'll do a hydrodissection, inject some lidocaine or some BSS solution between the chocolate and that hard candy shell layer to kind of separate them. You can see a little fluid wave went behind there. That's water kind of rushing around the back of that cataract. We'll see it again probably in sight. There it goes. And that fluid wave tells us that the water has gotten back there. And you tap down a little bit on the lens to push the water out. But let's make sure it's free. We've got to make sure the, the inner nucleus is free so it's going to be easier to remove so we spin it and there it is we can see it's spinning inside the bag and is ready to be removed so here is our fake emulsification machine and the first step is to get rid of some of the chocolate right on the surface just because that stuff's in the way and it doesn't look like chocolate it's clear it's like jello and i'm not going to do a divide and conquer here because it takes a while i just prefer to do what we call a horizontal chop i just ram my instrument into the cataract take my other instrument and i just crack it into two big pieces here so crack and so the peanut's been cracked into two pieces and we'll remove each of those one at a time and i'll probably end up cracking that bigger piece a couple times just to get it uh, out more easily the smaller the pieces you have the easier it is the less energy is required and so we've gotten all of the nucleus out, but there's still some cortex. The chocolate layer is still in there. You can see some debris on the inner surface of that bag. So we're going to go in there with our irrigation aspiration, pull those clear jello pieces of chocolate out because you want it to look nice and pretty in there. They can cause inflammation if you leave too much of it. The sub-incisional is always the hardest. I've got to turn my instrument upside down and go behind me like that, but it's out. We're going to put our lens in. We're going to put a little bit of viscoelastic in there to kind of inflate the capsular bag so there's a nice pocket for the lens to go. Otherwise, it'll... I have a hard time sliding in. And you can see the edges of our capsular rexes there. They're subtle, but they're there, like a circle. And we'll inject it into that bag. And I'm using an inserter that you have to kind of screw to advance it. There's plunger ones I kind of prefer, but they'll work fine. And it goes unfolded like a taco. And it unfolds like a flower inside the eye. And you can see the little edges of those little arms, those haptics. They start to slowly fold out. Sometimes I had to assist them a little bit. Static electricity wants to stick them down. And as they continue to fold out, they secure it inside that bag. And it's in the perfect location. So we're almost done. We've got to get rid of that viscoelastic, that jello, or that uh, gel in the eye. And you can see the lens spinning around in there because there's viscoelastic behind it that kind of rushed forward. And we hydrate our incisions with some BSS. That way they don't leak. And we'll do our keratome incisions, the most crucial one, but let's do the paracentesis as well. Check the pressure at the end. So I'll push on it with a little Q-tip, make sure it seems about normal and that the wounds are good and not leaking. And that is how we do a cataract surgery. So we have covered a lot of things today. We've done traumatic eye injury, a little bit about cataract surgery and history, and of course how to do the surgery itself.